Hey soulmates, what's good? Greetings from Seoul, South Korea. So today I have come to this restaurant where we are getting ready to check out a perfect summertime noodle treat. It is called Naengmyeon and people are waiting in line for up to 30 minutes to check it out. What's all the hype about? I don't know, let's go find out. Oh, here you are, face to face in this trashy bar. Another glass and I am going places makes me laugh above the irony of everything. I like the way you're thinking I don't really care about the music on the dance floor I don't really mind all the smokers in the bathroom I don't care at all, baby you All right, guys, so we finally just entered. So this place is crazy busy. There's a huge line all down the block here to get in here. So we're gonna eat naengmyeon, which literally translates to cold noodles. And this is a perfect summertime treat. So it is buckwheat noodles in a cold broth. It is refreshing. And this place is supposed to be really good for us. It's supposed to be super spicy. So we are currently in the Cheongyongli district of Seoul, and it is a huge traditional market. So this place is tucked away. It's a little bit hard to find, but it is well worth it. So we've ordered it up and just waiting. So this restaurant is really cute. It's really traditional. No frills, nothing fancy but I think the food's gonna be amazing so let's check it out All right guys, so our naengmyeon has just arrived. Oh, it looks really good. So this is a really simple menu here. There's only one thing on the menu, which is this. You can get it in a small size or in a larger size. So of course I've gone for the larger size. So it's kind of a simple dish. There's not a whole lot of ingredients. But the best way to start your naengmyeon is by getting some of this. So this is called yuksu and it is just beef broth. So they boiled it and made a broth out of it. You can help yourself. You have as much of this as you like. Oh, it's really hot, it's salty, it's meaty, it's refreshing, it's just so good. Such a good little broth to kind of help you start out. So these are buckwheat noodles. So as you can see, these are super cold. There's actually pieces of ice on here. So these are really, really cold. These buckwheat noodles are a little long, so normally we cut them up with some scissors before we eat them. And there's not many ingredients here. There are cucumbers which I'm not a fan of. There are daikon radishes. There is spicy pepper paste. So this place is supposed to be really well known for having spicy naengmyeon. So that's why I've come here because I want to try it. And then this is just a hard boiled egg. So this is supposed to help you kind of digest those buckwheat noodles because it's supposed to be a little difficult on your digestive system. So eating this before you eat the noodles will help with that. So all we can do is just mix this up and then if we want we can add some other things to it so they've given us this this is some of that yuksu broth and it's cold so this will give it a nice flavor to it as well and also help um, cut some of that spiciness if it's too spicy for you we've also got some things such as sugar we have more of that red pepper paste we can help ourselves to and some spicy mustard so we can really doctor this up into however we want to eat it but I tell you what, I am so hungry and I waited for this and I cannot wait any longer, so I wanna try it out. So the first thing we have to do is try the hard boiled egg. This is gonna help us digest our meal a little bit better, so let's go ahead and eat that. It's a hard boiled egg, it doesn't really taste like anything different. All right, so go ahead and mix everything up. Guys, this is a huge portion of noodles. So the regular portion is only 5,000 won. And this one, I've gone for the large one, is only 6,000 won. Ooh, it looks really good. I'm just gonna break into it. So let's check out these naengmyeon noodles. Ooh, it's gonna be so tasty. Here we go. Mmm. Oh wow. Oh. 
So this place, like I said, is really well known. We're having a really spicy naengmyeon. This one is really spicy. The red pepper sauce is super spicy. Normally, naengmyeon isn't really spicy. Oh, nice. So those noodles are cold, but they're also really chewy. So they're made out of buckwheat. Ooh, they're a little bit sweet. There's been some sugar added to this. Oh, can you see them? So nice. So if you've never had a buckwheat noodle, they're really thin, they're chewy, they don't have a whole lot of flavor. They can get stuck between your teeth, but they really carry the flavor of whatever's on them really well. So I like to add a little more sauce maybe. So I've got some vinegar, I'm gonna add to it, give it a little bit of sourness. And then I think I'm going to add some more of this cold yuksu, so some of this cold broth. So personally, I love this stuff. So I think it adds a lot of beefy flavor to it. Oh yeah, look at those big ice crystals there. This is just such a refreshing dish here with all that ice. It's gonna make a little broth. Ooh. Like I said, this will also help with some of the spiciness. So if you don't like too much spice, adding some of that cold beef broth will help with that. All right. Oh, yum. So that extra beef broth, that has so much good flavor to it. It really gives it a lot more depth. So you're tasting a lot more than just the red pepper paste. So personally, normally there's two different types of naengmyeon. There's one with a lot of broth, the one without. Personally, I like the one with the broth. So this is my style right here. Oh, this is, like I said, just the perfect treat for a hot summer day. Because once you walk out of here, you just feel so refreshed from all this icy cold noodles. So most places for this price, it's gonna, the portion's gonna be much smaller. So if you come here, you might not wanna get the big size because it's a lot of food. I'm not sure I can even finish this today. It's really tasty, but it's a huge portion of food. Really good though. This is a really traditional market that's selling all kinds of fruits and vegetables and meats. And today I am on the hunt for a very special pork dish. It is pigtails. Yes, you heard me right. Roasted Korean pigtails. And I know just where we can find them. Come, follow me. All right, so we have just ordered up our food. So it is here. So this is the pig tail. So it's been sliced into many different pieces. It looks really interesting, it looks really gelatinous. As you can see, there are there's a, the bone that goes through it. And then the outside has the skin and everything. So it smells really good, it smells almost cinnamony. It smells just like Joke Ball does. So it comes with a side of salt here and some onions and what looks like a shrimp sauce. So I have never tried this pigtail before. So I'm really curious to see how it tastes. So we're gonna start off by having some of this. This is called makgeolli. It's a Korean rice wine that I really enjoy. It's a hot summer day. I'm gonna go really well together. So let's go ahead and try that first. All right, so let's go ahead and try out our piggy tail. So again, as you can see, there is the bone that goes through it. It's really soft. It feels really squishy and fatty. Looks like there's some meat. So I guess I'm just gonna eat this by maybe dipping it in some of this salt. So it's kind of cold. And then see how that tastes. It's not bad, there's actually nothing wrong with that. It's really chewy. And that skin, super chewy. It's had a whole lot of meat on it. 
It's actually good. So once you get past the skin, there's a layer of meat in there. And it tastes really similar to joke bao. And then just kind of disregard the bone. It's not too bad. Let's try another piece. Let's try this piece here. So let's maybe dip it in some of the shrimp sauce here. So this is a fermented shrimp sauce. I'm gonna use it really sparingly because it's usually really strong. It's like there's some peppers and onions and pieces of shrimp. Well, let's see. Hmm. The shrimp adds some good flavor to it. It gives it a little depth. Oh. There we go. People are having a good time in this market. All right, so I think what's really interesting about this is that they're really using all parts of the pig here. So the pig tail is something that I never really thought about. I guess I thought they just discarded it or put it in dog food or something. So it's a unique piece of food. So before they cut it up, it looks really uh, interesting. But after it's cut up into bite-sized pieces, it's not bad. Mm. I like once you get past that skin, get rid of some of that that skin, some chewing. You get into that meat. It's really tender. You just eat it off the bone. And you're good to go. It goes really well with the rice wine as well. Mm. So, maybe if I try it with one of these onions here. So down below, there's these onions that have been kind of marinating in this shrimp sauce here. So maybe we're going to add that here. Let's try that together, the pigtail and the onion. Oh, oh, there's like 20 times better there. That that onion's a little salty, a little spicy because of the pepper. Ooh, gives it a lot of flavor. All right guys, so again, eating pigtails in Korea might sound a little weird or unusual, but don't be scared of it. I think it's really t quite tasty. And again, mixing it with this onion gives it just so much good flavor. So definitely try and check it out. Don't be scared, be a little adventurous, just follow your taste buds and see what tastes good. Mm. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead in this video here. If you like, do me a favor, give me a big thumbs up. Go ahead and click that subscribe button because I do upload weekly videos and you don't wanna miss it. All right, until next time, have a great day. I'll see you later, bye.